Hi guys, Steve at Golf Tech Systems. We are in the Abingdon Demo Centre. Uh, actually, I'm going to flip the camera around on myself today. So today is a video looking at the showroom. So I wanted to do a video of walking through the real benefits of having a demo with us before you start looking at your golf simulator. It's something that we've invested a hell of a lot of money in uh, to get this showroom up to a, a very high standard of what we do. And we felt it's really important that customers come in for a demo. We understand, you know, making the trip down to us, you know, we're in Oxfordshire, it can be a drive. But really, customers, when they come in, they tend to change their minds in terms of potentially what spec they're looking for. Um, and that can range from tracking device, impact screen, software, aesthetics, any of those elements. And it really is done on when customers come in and see it and try it for themselves. So we have customers that maybe are coming in to look at a Skytrack. They may end up walking out with a Unicor. Uh, we have customers at the other end of the scale that may look come in for a Trapman that they might walk out of a Unicor. Or you might come in for a Unicor and walk out of a Skytrack or a Trapman. It really can vary. So we do get a lot of that in terms of... Customers come in with an understanding of what they want, but once they actually come in and test it for themselves and they do the comparisons, they may change their mind. And that's absolutely fine. That's what the showroom is all about. It's about understanding different tracking devices, different systems, different aesthetics, different components to then make that informed decision of which way you want to head with your project. So I wanted to run through the showroom today, the real importance of it, looking at the different ways that we do a demo in terms of how we run through structurally. So at least you can get a real good understanding of why we push so hard for people to come to the showroom, why we typically spend an hour and a half to two hours with a customer uh, on a demo to go through this before we even start looking at quoting, because we need your guidance. We need your input to help us understand which components are going to be important to you, where the budget needs to be spent in certain areas, those important component areas. All of that is critical and we can't do it without your guidance. We can do these things remotely and we do do that for people that have to go remotely. But ultimately, the camera will never give you a real good understanding of what's in here. And physically being on a sim and physically trying it is a world apart. So, yeah, hopefully this walkthrough video will give you a good idea. So I'm going to spin the camera around. Um, this is the upstairs of our showroom. This is our office. So, uh, yeah, our desks are over the back. Neil's working away over there on something at the moment. But, yeah, when you come into our showroom, we start upstairs, take a seat on the sofa. We've got some images of previous projects on the wall, uh, before and after on the big screen there. But this gives you a good starting point. It lets you understand different kind of aesthetics, different designs uh, that we've come up with. And so really easy to see those straight away and start understanding where you might want to head. Or, you know, if you see something specific, you might say, oh, that one I really like, I like that design. That's the sort of thing that I want uh, in my house or in my project or in my, in my outbuilding, etc." Uh, we always ask for initial information before you demo. So we will ask, always ask you for photos of the room, if it's built, dimensions, floor plans, if it's a new build, etc., etc. And the reason we do that is because we've got this big interactive screen up on our wall. We put everything, up, before you come to your demo, up onto this screen. It's important because we run through this. So we will put your information up and then we will go through it. We've got drawing tools that we use on our screen, so we might overlay on your plan. So we start positioning things in the room. Those sorts of things we will look at as well for design. We also use it for looking at previous projects because we have a lot of before and afters and the fitted sims and the freestanding sims, etc. We also do it to show you things like CAD. CAD is something that we do a lot of. So we always do this with our projects because it's important. So things like we will have a room layout drawing. So when we're doing and designing your room, we would always have to do this to show where everything is, needs to be. Uh, we will also do as part of that, we will also do, let me just jump back a page, uh, things like electrical layout. You're going to need an electrician to put all your power sockets in in position. So again, understanding, you know, different outlets, flex outlets, spur switches, etc, etc. All of these need a position and a natural cab layout for your electrician to be able to do. It's all part of what we do as a project. And we can do that as a DIY solution. So if you're looking at doing your own DIY install, then you're going to need this to help you know where to put everything. The same thing that we would also do things like a cable run. So again, where our cable run is going to be in terms of what's going to what, where it needs to go. So all of this is really, really relevant to the project. Um, we like to 
really make sure that we get all of this information across when we're doing these sorts of things with these projects because we like to make them simple. We like to make sure that what we're doing is very, very straightforward. And when we're working with different contractors, builders, electricians, etc., we need to make sure that this goes smoothly. We don't want any problems. So yeah, initially, this is what's gonna happen. You're gonna come up into our showroom, into our office, look at the existing stuff, understand some aesthetics and builds, and get an idea of what you've got as a room and what could possibly go where. That then leads us on to downstairs, which is the exciting part. So we will just head down the stairs, have a quick look around. Um, starting to use this little bit now as a memorabilia area. So like picture of uh, Danny Winnett with his sim, uh, AP McCoy, we put a sim in for, Grand Hall, footballer. Uh, and then, yeah, into the showroom. So into the showroom, we have a garden outbuilding. So this is one of Scott's who we work with to do outbuilding. So if you're looking for a brand new outbuilding, we can do the whole outbuilding. So this gives you a great idea of what an outbuilding will look like. Scaled down in terms of size, but effectively from aesthetic point of view and layout, etc., it gives you a good idea. We've also then got the four and a half bay, the Elite. Uh, this is the bay that we're going to use to do your testing. So this is where we will start and we will go through tracking devices. So initial tracking devices we will look at. Uh, we've got SkyTrack down there on charge at the moment. Uh, we've got IXO on the ceiling. We've got QED on the ceiling. We've got TrackMan at the rear of the room. Uh, we've got some cabling in for some other devices as well that are just about to come through. So yes, starting off on the big bait, let's have a look at the tracking device and let's nail down which tracking device is going to tick your boxes. It's going to suit your requirements and give you what you need. It may be that when we start looking at the project, you, let's just say you really want a unicorn or you really want a TrackMan, but the budget's not there. What we would do is maybe, you know, at that point we could say start with a SkyTrack. We do the rest of the build aesthetically to your requirements, but we might put the cabling in ready for an IXO in the ceiling. So when you decide, if you decide that you want to upgrade, that's already ready to go. It's just a simple solution of we take the SkyTrack out, we put a Unicor in, everything else in the room stays as it is. So it's critical to get the tracking device and or cabling provision in place for these things. Uh, then we would move on to software. So lots of software on our sim. We've got E6, TGC, GS Pro, Refine software, uh, View software, Ignite software, Trackman, SkyTrack. All of these are ready to go. So again, we can run through the different setups um, and get you looking at all the different software. Once we've done tracking device and software, we would then start looking at kind of like the bays. Do you want the fitted solution or the freestanding? Again, as I say, this is the elite freestanding. And in the garden room, just quickly open the door, we have a fitted solution which has got the upholstered wall panels and the pet, uh, the pet panels on the sidewall. So again, you can see the difference and then you can make a decision what you prefer on that. If you go with an Elite, it has the option of a floor system, but you could go with a mat if you wanted to reduce the cost. And then in the fitted solution, we always use Huxley Golf to lay our turf. So this is their black turf with their Premier T turf. And even things like importance, again, looking at tees. So just set a couple of tees here. So we've got a normal tee in the ground there and we've got our Bertie. So again, making sure that we're ticking those options to what is going to suit your requirements. So that will look at those settings. Then we will start looking at projectors and monitors and that sort of thing. So in here, we've obviously got projected setup, got a 55 inch touch head on, and we've got a 43 inch touch for navigation. We are running at the moment on a 4K BenQ projector and all of these monitors are 4K. So the resolutions will match, but you might wanna not go into 4K. So we can go down to the Panasonic and then we could move you down to the 28 inch, uh, 24 inch touch. Um, that would reduce the budget down if you didn't wanna to push to 4K. So we would then be looking at projectors and monitor layout. We can do different things with the monitors. So effectively that monitor could be running TV. So we could push TV into that. Uh, if we look into the automated system, another part of an element of the demo, we would look at whether this was viable. So if you want a control system uh, and you want to be able to just push gaming, because for instance, you just want to turn your system quickly into a games console, 
you know, these control systems will take care of that for you, the way that we programmed it uniquely to, to Golf Tech. So that monitor will turn off. It's just timing out to turn off, so we don't need it on when the, when the family are gaming or you're gaming. And then gaming's ready to go. So again, that's a crucial part of looking at the functionality of the sim. What is the multi-use coming out of it that is needed? Do we need to look at being able to add TV functionality? Do we need to look at gaming functionality? That leads us then into audio. <coughs> Excuse me. Audio is then another factor that we need to look at. And again, we will look at, say, the automated system has its own audio. So we have our own speaker system in behind the screen in the ceiling, and then we have a sub. And then this side, we have Sonos set up. So that's behind the screen, and we've got some Play 1s um, and sub just on the back corner here. So lots and lots of different elements that are really coming into the simulator to give you your total build. I'm just going to go back to the golf sim mode um, and switch that back over. And yeah, it's, it's important. You know, we can't overlook any of these key component areas. It's really important that when we're running through these things, we are ticking off all these boxes. And this is what we do on a demo. And this is why it takes a couple of hours because we really have to divide that demo down into these key component areas and get your guidance, your feedback to what is important to your sim build. And it may be that you want something simple and you don't need the control system and you don't want multi-screen setup and you just want a screen and you want to use a SkyTrack, very simple, keep the budget down. It may be that you want to go full singing and dancing, a control system, you want it 4K, you want the multi-screen setup, you know, you want a fitted solution, whatever it may be. But the point is that we don't leave any stone unturned when we go through a demo. We go through every key component area. And it's the other reason why you probably won't see any packages on our website, because we don't really believe in putting a package out. You know, a package is great to give you an idea of ballpark on price, but that's all it's doing as far as we're concerned. It's not going to be that package is just not going to suit every single customer. It just won't. So there will be something that is much more specific to one customer over the next. And that's why we don't do real packages on our website. It's why we ask customers to come into the showroom. And it's why we will build and do a quote only based on once we've done that. Because we need your information. We need your feedback to understand which components you want in your build to understand how much your budget is going to come down to. Now, don't get me wrong, once we go through that, that might come out over budget in terms of what you spec, but that's where we can then analyse it. So we can then start looking at it and thinking, OK, it's put you over budget. Where can we now compromise? You know, do you want to compromise on the tracking device? Do you want to compromise on the 4K projector? Where is the angles? Where is it going to come from where we might move the budget around a little bit to help you? Do you want to go DIY? You know, do you want to use our CAD consultancy service and put it in, in build it in with your friends or, you know, a local handyman or something like that rather than using our installers? There's lots of different options that we can do to help you get this dream room system set up. But as I say, hopefully today, just wanted to give you a real good walkthrough what goes into a demo before we get anywhere with any type of project. Critical, major important, don't know really how you can kind of do this stuff without without the customer feedback. You know, I think it's important. It'd be no different to, say, specifying a car, uh, building a kitchen, all of those sorts of things. You've Everyone's got personal taste to what's important to them. Everyone's got something that's going to make it more important to them in terms of what they want to see and what they need and what features and what um, functionality they want out of their project. So, yeah, I hope it's a real good kind of insight into how far we go with a demonstration, why we go that far on a demonstration. And ultimately, it means that hopefully we get lots and lots of happy customers. It means that the system that we put in first time is perfect. We want it to always be that way. And we think it's really, really important. So if you need any more information or you want to come and book a demo, you can visit us at www.golftechsystems.com. Mm -hmm.